Well, we were lucky, and we've got a couple more Cyberverse episodes to go through since last week. Today, we're talking about the episode King of the Dinosaurs. In this episode, Bumblebee, Windblade, and Teletran X are excavating the Autobot that the Decepticons detected and Windblade stole the location of from the Seeker's computer. They finally hit pay dirt and find their old friend Grimlock, who is now in his T-Rex form. Now this is where the episode really takes a dive for me. They make it seem like that because Grimlock has run out of Energon, it means he's dead. Like Spark Extinguished Permanently Dead. But then two seconds later, they say he actually has 1% of his Energon left. So then he's not dead. Why scare us like this? Why didn't they just say that he was in stasis lock or something? Well, they hook up a bunch of power lines to him to try and revive him. Hmm. Using electricity to revive a friendly Autobot. Where have I seen something like this recently? Anyways, they are successful, and Grimlock goes on a minor rampage in the city. Which, by the way, seems totally deserted. B and Windblade try to herd him out of the city, but all they really do is antagonize him. Then Teletran X puts on this lullaby and light show for him, and draws him away. They get Grimlock back to the construction site, where Grimlock is essentially acting like a baby. Apparently he did this to himself so that he can have increased strength in dino mode. So they try and get him to remember them, but all Grimlock wants to do is find his dinosaur friends. They follow him back to his base, which almost looks like it has the Konami code carved above its door, where he discovers that all the dinosaurs are gone and finds an old video of himself with them, which snaps him out of his infantile dino form and back to his normal robot self. I gotta tell you, this has got to be the weakest episode of Cyberverse thus far. I know G1 Grimlock acted very childlike, especially in Season 3, but he was a downright baby here. Also, when Grimlock was asking where his friends like him were, and the others thought he was talking about dinosaurs, I thought he was talking about other Dinobots. But no, he was talking about actual dinosaurs. Which sucks, because they could have done other Dinobots too. Because Bumblebee's pod wasn't the only one that fell out of the Ark. I could have totally seen Grimlock leading a team of once generic Autobots who have now been reformatted into the familiar Dinobots we know and love. But no, that wasn't the case. It really felt like a double fakeout. And then there's the comment that Grimlock and his dinosaur friends built an exact replica of the Ark's bridge. Complete with working computers, mind you. Computers. Built by dinosaurs. How? These dinosaurs shouldn't even be together, because I know at least two of them, the Velociraptor and the Spinosaurus, are carnivores and would probably try to eat the others. The only saving grace of this episode is Teletran 1 and his dry, deadpan humor. Teletran 1, how can I save the crew? Go to my main console and... Whoa! Never mind. Oh well, hopefully the next episode, the extinction event, is at least a little better. Good, Grimlock. Now be a nice bot, and we'll listen to some pretty music. Grimlock like pretty music. 